Governor Jay Inslee stopped by Hawthorne Elementary to announce funding for the All Kids Bike Program, which teaches kindergartners how to ride bikes. Family Literacy Connectors are helping to build bridges between schools and families with fun reading events. It's Black History Month and SPS is celebrating. We've got highlights from the kickoff event. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hi, this is Lady A, the real Lady A, and I'm here at Lincoln High School, and you're watching First Bell right here on SPS TV. Hey SPS, I'm Sophia Charchuk. And I'm Teresa Scribner. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. We've got a lot of great stories to share, so let's get into it. Kindergartners at Hawthorne Elementary couldn't contain their joy when Governor Jay Inslee and Superintendent Brent Jones stopped by the school to make a big announcement. The HDR Foundation delivered a fleet of new bicycles to Hawthorne as part of the All Kids Bike Kindergarten PE initiative. Superintendent Jones and Lori Dunn, the Program Manager for Physical Education and Health Literacy, shared their excitement about expanding the program to all elementary schools in the district. This is our opportunity to really expand our curriculum outside the walls of the classroom, uh, making sure our students uh, learn the skills, how to have safety around, uh, getting around. It increases their mobility uh, through biking, and we, we really are excited to have this, this partnership. All of our kids in Seattle Public Schools will have an opportunity to get this program by the end of next year. The All Kids Bike Program also teaches bike safety. Governor Inslee said he was pleased with our district's efforts in making sure all students had access to learn how to ride a bike. Well, what we're doing today is we're making sure every kid has an opportunity to have a lifetime of bike riding for health, for safety, and for a lot of fun. I couldn't be more thrilled, and I like what the Seattle School District's doing to focus on every child having this opportunity not just those who are lucky enough to own a bike. The All Kids Bike Learn to Ride program is slated to be in all SPS elementary schools by the end of next year. As part of the SPS strategic plan, district leaders want all kids reading at grade level by the time they reach third grade. Family literacy connectors are just one way SPS brings schools and family together around reading. <laughs> family literacy connectors, or FLCs, are school-based family engagement liaisons who help promote early literacy for SPS students. Joanne Griesmer, an FLC at Bailey Gatzard Elementary, transformed the school's cafeteria into a makeshift library with a variety of stations for students to practice reading with their families. So today, my role is Early Learning Literacy Connector, and I'm excited because so many families came. They got the resources they needed to try and strengthen reading at home with text, with games, with activities, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see where we go from here. Dion Johnson is an FLC at South Shore PK-8. She invited African American and Continental African families to come together to help build a black family cookbook. By having families share food from their culture, Johnson's event demonstrated how important it is to connect with students beyond the classroom. Family literacy connectors are important because they are the Velcro between educators and the building and families and home. They are the people who do cultural interpretation and academic interpretation so that students can have the support that they need in the home and families can have the support that they need in the home that mirrors what's happening in the building. SPS also partners with Seattle Public Library and Team Read to help meet its literacy goals. The Central Office Black Caucus kicked off Black History Month with the flag raising ceremony on February 1st. Dozens of district employees were on hand to celebrate. This year's theme is Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. You can rewatch the event on the district's YouTube page. February is also Career and Technical Education Month, and 50 students from Chief Self International High School went to Amazon's Skill Center to learn about careers in web services. Students toured the facility and got a lesson in computer science. You don't want to miss these important announcements, so get ready for the rundown. New student registration for the 2023-24 school year is now open. If you're interested in having your student attend a school that is not their assigned school, families can submit a school choice form. Enrollment for choice schools is open until May 31st, but students who apply by February 28th will receive priority. Seattle Colleges, North, South, and Central are hosting four virtual events about the career pathways offered at their campuses. 
Prospective students will get a chance to hear from instructors to learn more about available opportunities. Next week is midwinter break. Be sure to get plenty of rest because once you return, you won't get another school break for six whole weeks. It's time for SPS shout outs. This Black History Month, we want to give a shout out to all the Black Student Unions and their advisors around the district. Yes, I want to give a special shout out to the BSUs at Nathan Hale and Lincoln High School. I was able to see just how hard these groups are working. They both produced awesome assemblies in honor of MLK and they both knocked it out of the park. Good job. Before we go, we want to let you know that SPS is facing a challenging budget year. You can learn more about it at www.seattleschools.org forward slash budget. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website and be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Until next time, I'm Sophia Charchuk. And I'm Teresa Scribner. We'll catch you later for First Bell.